The axe was invented in 6000 BC. People in 5999 BC. This one actually confused me for a long time until I realized BC counts down. Imagine living around that time and just wondering like, wait, what are we counting down to? Why are we counting down to zero? The Red Army being praised for its size in WW2. All the while, the small British Indian Army looks off in the distance. 2.5 million servicemen, the largest volunteer army in history. Damn, we can't forget about them. You did good too, little buddy. European explorers after finding native tribes that don't have flags, guns, or Jesus. You know what time it is. It's conquering time. When you're a student in the year 100 BC Rome and your teacher asks, what's the first month of the year? March! March? Is that true? Why am I imagining Romans as Scottish right now, though? Oh, sorry, sorry. I <coughs> just <laughs> mixed up my movies. I, I just saw Mel Gibson and I thought Braveheart instantly. I didn't even really look at the massive flag in the background. History teacher looking for resources to use when teaching the Cold War. Billy Joel listing 118 significant events from 1949 to 1989 in just under five minutes. We Didn't Start the Fire is probably in my top five favorite songs of all time. I'll be honest, though, I didn't know the song until I watched this episode of The Office. Pretty sad of me, but okay. Billy the slave indicted of high treason during the American Revolution. I am a slave, not a citizen. As such, I have no obligations towards this government. Thus, it's legally impossible for me to commit treason. Whoa! Got him! This is like the historical version of saying you're gonna hang out with Candace this weekend and your girl going, who's that? And you always gotta follow up the Candace phrase with the, and guess where we're going this weekend? To Kenya. Can you fit these nuts in your mouth? Europe is hilarious to me. There's like a different country 35 minutes down the road and everyone is like, Frick those guys! Yeah, thousands of years of war will probably do that to anybody. I don't think we should be surprised. You are attacked by Libya. They have tanks, and you have Toyotas. Your Toyotas are too fast to be hit by the tanks, so you destroy them. Your Toyotas cross over minefields like it was nothing, and you surprise their troops, so you win the war. Even better, this is literally called the Toyota War. Or as I like to call it, Toyotathon. Fuck Honda days. It was between Libya and FAP, or otherwise known as Chad. Of course, Chad would FAP. And this all happened in the 1980s. Sounds like a blast. Arab traders, after convincing everyone else that cinnamon is expensive due to the effort taken to collect cinnamon sticks from a cinnamon bird's nest. Ultimate lib right move there. Nice job, Arabs. This makes me depressed because now I'm thinking about all the chocolate bunnies we have to slaughter just so we can enjoy a Hershey's. What if Germany won World War I scenarios are way more interesting than what if Germany won World War II scenarios? And that's a fact. And partly that's probably due to the fact that you still have like a hundred years to play with afterwards. Words? I mean, we all know the drastic differences between the Great War, WW2, the Cold War, whatever we did after that. But when you change around World War One, you still have so much of the timeline to play with. God, please, Germany. Hello, sir. Where am I? East Germany. You what, mate? You what? This isn't exactly what I was hoping for, but better get the date from this doctor as well, man. This might be just as East Germany is forming. So the Soviets are still invading, and let me just say they're holding a grudge. If you want to cry, I'll give you something to cry about. Oh no, it's gonna be bad, you could tell. And yes, it is. I honestly can't think of a worse book. Yeah, yeah, where the red fern grows. That's eh, kind of sad, I guess, whatever. This is like that, but on steroids. Times that by a million. American colonists, we're fighting for our independence. France, that's cool. Colonists, we're fighting against Britain. That's all all you had to say. France was also holding a grudge. They were ready to get their own revenge. Ah uh, yes, Twitter with a nice PSA for all the young people. Just wanted to inform everyone that Hilter has a very toxic history and what you can do to help. He was literally a no-no German. Like literally. We're, we're not just like throwing that word out there. Uh, he, literally. He has a very long record of problematic behavior and it's very important that you set boundaries. Hilter is not okay. You must educate people about skinny must mustache man and how he was bad. This seems ridiculous, I know, but I guarantee you there must be at least a couple people on Twitter that probably needed to read this. Napoleon according to the French versus Napoleon according to the British press. That's also who I'm blaming my short stature for as well. If you're running to me in real life, I know I might look the size of a hobbit, but in reality, it's just British propaganda. Slaves who ran away to Mexico. Mexico declaring any slave that sets foot on their land a free man. And let's not also forget the obvious bonus as well, Taco Tuesday.
days. Took the US quite a long time to figure out how great that was. The US public happy that they held their own in the War of 1812. The UK, which only sent a fraction of their troops since they were dealing with Napoleon at the time. Yeah, yeah, good job, little buddy. I love how we make this such a big deal. You know, to be fair, Canada does as well. UK doesn't give a crap. The real boss music was happening in France the whole time. Stone Age humans evolving to digest more carbohydrates as the agricultural revolution progressed. Dogs evolving to do the same thing so they could keep eating what we eat. It's like they're watching us invest our own skill points into our different trees and they're deciding to do the same thing as well. Don't be fooled. They know exactly what they're doing. The Holy Roman Empire lasting for over a thousand years. Staring at the thousand year Reich lasting 12 years. Dang, and we give the HRE a lot of crap. In reality, we should probably direct that more towards these guys. After all, why not? Why shouldn't I paint shark teeth on it? I mean, if you're gonna have a plane, what else are you gonna put on it? A giant red dot? Can you imagine how dumb that would be? Oh. Wait. Training your astronauts by having them practice collecting rock samples. Training your cosmonauts by having them sit in vibrating chairs in 70 degrees Celsius. Okay, USSR, I see you. Training your astronauts by rolling them down a hill in an oil drum. You know, out of everything I just read, that would actually make the most sense to me. I can see where you were getting at. The greatest wealth is to live content with little. Thanks, Plato. I'm not greedy. Long as I've got my health, aristocratic privilege, and five slaves, I'm content. Ooh, yeah, I guess. Yes, uh... That was easy for him to say. Humans invent ships to travel to other continents. Cockroaches and rats. My time has now come. Man, I'm so tired of all these different species piggybacking off us. We doing all the work but not getting any of the credit. Same goes for you wolves. You're just copying our every move. I see you. America, after WW1, sits there, sips, watches the sunset. Literally everyone else cries in terror. And you know what's even funnier? It's gonna happen a second time. United Kingdom of the Netherlands, fine! Behold how happy we look as a couple in this photo. Okay, they do kinda look happy, I guess. The United Kingdom of the Netherlands and... Oh, that's... that's Belgium. Mm. So they're not actually happy. Is that why they did all those terrible things to the Congo? Gorbachev? Where's the Soviet Union? Ah, uh, yes, circa 1992, I guess. Well, for a second there, it was just in Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, for like, what, 10 minutes, was the only part of the Soviet Union? They should have kept that going. Seemed fun. The Ottomans besieging a city be like, what, 17 more years? It's always so crazy when you look back on those old battles and you just see like, oh, this country sieged out another castle for like 30 years. Like, damn, that's like three generations back then, easily. Grandpa and his son fighting side by side. Call studio studio at 3 a.m. Enter studio does cover of Somewhere Over the Rainbow in single take. Leaves. This was the ultimate Giga Chad from Hawaii. Is only needs one take and it totally slaps. Repeatedly asking the Pope to annul your marriage after your wife fails to provide an heir. Break away from the Catholic Church and establish yourself as the head of a new church to annul your marriage. Medieval solutions to ancient problems. He was the first one to say that. Flag makers when the no-no German party took over Germany. I've never seen this take before but yeah, they were definitely going to financially recover from this. I mean, because I'm assuming they, they weren't financially recovered before this. Germany wasn't doing good economically. Nice Alps. I wonder whether elephants would enjoy walking here. I don't know, but something tells me they would. Especially after making that long trip from Carthage. Nero, when he saw a guy who looked like his oofed wife. You will become Fenbo. <sighs> Alright, Nero. 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 Okay, we're gonna need to talk. Nero should be credited for creating the first fanboy hooters just in his own little palace. The kidnapper is leaving me back in my home after I constantly talked about how misunderstood people are about Napoleon's height for seven hours. That is actually why I have still yet to be 100% kidnapped. I've been like mostly kidnapped, but they always end up sending me back after I talk about this shit. I've been going on seven years talking about this stuff, so don't even try me for seven hours. Crime documentaries be like, Archduke Franz Ferdinand was alive until he wasn't. And this like stupid filter is always thrown over the footage, but damn it am I entertained. If you ever feel stupid, don't forget the Tsar tried to ban vodka in Russia. Hmm. You know what? That actually explains a lot. No wonder they did what they did to him. I just heard my mom tell my brother, when you get oofed, you will go outside and garden until your father says you're done. And it took me a second to realize that my brother was playing a video game and this was not a theological discussion. Ancient Egypt summarized. Sounds actually kind of fun. I'd like to join. Where do I apply? Is there a modern way you can be mummified? I'm just kind of curious about that too. When you lose the war, but your boss invites you to his ranch in Argentina. Ooh, free vacay. This 
this ought to be fun. 300 Spartans fighting the Persians, 189 Swiss guards protecting the Pope from an army of thousands, 21 Sikh fighting 24,000 tribesmen. I'm loving this My Hero template. Uh, yeah, this story definitely does not get enough credit. I don't even know if I know this story. USA laying in a bed full of oil. I don't think I can ever get enough. USA, you don't seem tired even after last night's Okay, this is not appropriate. I don't know what else I expected. I mean, I should have gotten the picture. I, sh I should have looked at the picture. You're so friggin useless. Oh no. Now they will never ooh, ooh again. I guess someone had to say it though. Mongols arriving to Japan. Beaches are littered with boats. The Japanese are boarding the ships. The boats are coming towards them. I love to hype up the Mongols and I always will, but um, the huge L's they took while trying to navally invade Japan, it, you just can't look past it. It was their kryptonite. History teachers listening to another presentation about how WW1 caused no no anime. Ah, <sighs> another day, another migraine. This is like my worst fear. This is why I can't do it. I can't be a history teacher. I can't hear this for the 622nd time. Germans during the evacuation of Dunkirk. Where do they get all these ships? They haven't had a navy ready to evacuate. This is not a navy, sir. It's just people. You know they had to have been thinking, this is gonna be harder than we thought. Even though they did like just successfully roll over France. German soldier, we wear gray to blend into our surroundings. British soldier, we choose khaki as it helps with camouflage. French soldier, our uniform, it is blue. We wear it to show off how thick we are. I mean, hey, while their country's being invaded, might as well look fashionable. POWs released by Japan, British Empire, 37,000, yeah, that makes sense. The Netherlands, 28,000, the US, 14,000, China, 56. Whoa. That is something I did not need to be reminded about. War starts, the soldiers sit there and cry, the military industrial complex. Business is booming. They're just like making it rain, yeah. Me trying to find the British in the British museums. Hmm, that's weird. There doesn't seem to be anything here that's British. Women in ancient Greece exists. Zeus, yeah the third leg. Roman sculptures originally Roman sculptures after being unearthed. How did we figure this out again? That like they looked a lot more different than when we unearthed them? I don't know. Science. Something science. This is best Korea. He is pain and a-hole, says South Korea. I get military support from foreign country. He get military support from foreign country. I have military dictatorship. He have military dictatorship. I get new democracy. He stays a dictatorship. Great success. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, not so fast there, worse Korea. How do you explain their name then? The Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Checkmate, K-pop. Soviet architecture was so depressing, I can't understand why people would live in this dystopian hellhole. OMG, this is such a great place to live and raise a family. Family. I personally, yeah, I see no difference. This is basically where I grew up to and it, it felt, it felt the same. Might as well have been. Do you really think Napoleon is going to cross Spain just to invade Portugal? Think, Godoy, think. Yeah, I don't know why he, he I don't know. I, I can't believe he fell for that one. Remember what you are fighting for. The only allied power in the first world war that did not provide its soldiers with what? What? Why were they providing them that in the first place? When Alexander the Great keeps winning battles because nobody else thought to make extra long spears. Man, being a general back in the day seemed so simple. Just have like a basic understanding of logic. Just have some street smarts, honestly. You're gonna go down into history as like the greatest ever. The first of the enemy captured in the D-Day landings was actually Korean. The Japanese had forced several Koreans to fight for them. These were then captured by the Russians who forced them to fight for them. Then the Germans captured them. Finally, they were captured by the Americans. What a story, man. Now that would be quite the book. I would want to read something like that. The Soviets detonating the most powerful boom boom weapon ever created. Oh, this is the Tsar Bomba. Some peasants 630 miles away. What is this? Is this a dark, like, joke about nuclear radiation or something? I don't really want to know. Crime documentaries be like, Lithuania was an empire until it wasn't. Okay, this one's pretty good. Why'd you gotta remind me? But in this documentary, I was actually rooting for the criminal. Japanese emerges as a great power. Russia, Germany, England, United States, and France. What the hell are they doing here? That must have been kind of awkward just having a new person sit at the table for the first time. Lenin, Drake. Yeah, where did you put the Tsar family, our leverage against the interventionists and white army? Um, I... Okay. The Norse, magic is womanly and unmanly, and no man practicing magic is shameful, Odin. The chief Norse god, famous for practicing magic. Uh, we're gonna just let that slide. We're gonna let him slide, it's fine. No one else can practice it, though. The Philippines saying, can you stop colonizing us for five 
minutes. This makes me depressed. The US, the UK, Japan, Spain. This is why the Philippines is such a crazy country. And big thanks to the patrons of May. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. I'm about a nut. Luxembourg lover. Poppy Drew Woo. I love Drew Donnell. Arian After Hours. Stormtrooper 501. Zephy. Patrick C. Manny Manny 74. Kaylee K. M203 Brush. Ian L. Fusion Anthony G. Wolf. San Nick. Epi Nick. Elijah Senpai. Dalton D. Call of Tortoise. Aaron F. And Aaron F. 2. 